Well, check out what I got. Morning, guys. Morning, people. World everywhere. Anyway, purchased this uh, derail. 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 Performance. Electrical remote cooler. So, um, anyway, part number, stock number 15900. It does cause cancer. Somehow, I guess when you chew on these labels, it causes cancer. Good old LA. Um, anyway, uh, put one of these on my kid's truck. I don't think it was this size. It could have been this size. But anyway, that's all the parts it comes with. So it comes with the uh, the line adapters. So you cut the line, you put this on, it crimps around the line. Those two hose clamps, hose, zip ties, mounting hardware for so it's nuts and bolts, bolts and nuts for this. Wire adapters, the thermostat, and the adapter. And then I believe those are 8N, oh yeah, dash 8 AM fittings. So, <clears throat> so this is a 16 pass uh, tube and fin cooler core. So it's half inch basically. So these are some of uh, the little adapters you get. This one, this one. Um, that's the thermostat. These are the other things. Oh, my back's hurting. <clears throat> Hose clamps, hardware, and then you have to order this separately. This is a 40, 60 amp relay wire harness, part number 16736. Sorry, 16763. Um, anyway. So you order this separate. This was like, uh, I think 25 bucks. And I bought this whole system. Uh, I believe... I can't remember what I paid. Let me look. I gotta look. Um, it doesn't tell me. I think I paid like 175 bucks for it. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, so it comes with all the adapters, everything. Um, this is where the thermostat goes because you got the little hole. And, uh, I suppose they're compression fittings. They look like compression fittings. So, I, I'm still going to put a little Teflon on the threads right in here on both. So, I'll put some Teflon tape on those. And then, um, I'll do some Teflon on these threads too. Just because, uh, my kids trucks uh it seeps out of here i've tightened it a couple times it still seeps out so i don't know what the deal is with his but i don't want it to happen to mine so these ones because these are not compression <clears throat> um i'll put whatever whatever that stuff's called <laughs> teflon tape on there i don't know if i'm gonna do that now, I don't know when I'm going to do this tranny cooler. <clears throat> um, because I have to go to work on Tuesday and I'll be working in Los Angeles <clears throat> for hopefully not that long. Oh, here is the hose. So you get, I think it was 10 feet of hose. January 28, 2019. Hey. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to do it. Like I said, I've got to work in L.A. Um, I don't want to work for this guy. I called this guy yesterday. Uh, this supervisor's a complete moron. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, he's a, 
he's an idiot, is all I could say, telling me about stuff and saying that I'm not going to make it because I only have, because it's a foreman job, and uh, because I only have two to three years of being a foreman, um, apparently I've never been in charge of people ever in my life until I came to the railroad. I don't know, people are just think that the railroad is the only job out there and I guess you live in a box until you get hired so uh, to him I just basically came out of a box um, with no knowledge of anything you anyway, know that's an idiot I already I already put in some uh, bids to bid out of there because um, like I said I'd rather <clears throat> I'd rather travel and go somewhere farther than to be like in LA area because LA area <coughs> these guys are just <coughs> excuse me these guys are just they think they know everything and he was asking about some you know technical stuff about the railroad so you got rail temperature so when it gets hot the rail expands when it cools down the rail contracts and he was asking me if I know about heat temperature or something and so I was like well you're talking about like rail lane temperature rail neutral temperature what are you talking about he goes no other stuff and I said well other stuff like what and he goes well just other stuff about heat I'm also like heat stress like heat stroke like what do you what do you mean he goes no other things about heat and I said well aren't you building panels so they're 80 foot panels that they're building so the rail comes 80 feet so in 80 feet, the, the max the rail can grow is about three quarters of an inch. And so I was telling him that, and he goes, no, just other stuff. And I was like, all right, I'll just see you on Tuesday. Because whatever, the guy's an idiot. He doesn't even know what's going on, but that's supervisors for you. But anyway, I keep going on these rants. I keep being irritated. Um, yeah. I don't even know where I was going with this video, but I got this grill out. So I did paint. Oh man, my back's tight. I did paint this lower valance. Oh jeez. So this is painted, and then this is powder coated. So because this is plastic down here, it took a whole can and probably like a quarter, and this is all I painted it with some Krylon paint and primer but I don't know it's coming out pretty good I'm just having a difficult difficult time getting this stupid plastic dip crap off so I'm taking it off in pieces so if somebody well it's gonna be too late but if somebody knows how to take this off easier comment this way I'll know next time. Um, but yeah, so... Maybe you're supposed to go thicker. Maybe that's... Maybe that's what I didn't do, is I didn't go thick enough. Um, and I also got to drill the back bumper for these sensors. So I painted these two already. So they're one and an eighth inch holes. So, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to have to drill those out. So these pop in and then these pop over them. And just like that, basically. So I got to drill those out, take my measurements, do all that stuff, do the hokey pokey. Um, yeah, so. I don't know. Too much crap. I got all these motor parts. I got everything for the Cummins build. And then I decided to do some ARP uh, rod bolts. So I ordered some ARP rod bolts. <clears throat> I figured since I got head studs, main studs, I might as well just do everything internal. ARP. So I got ARP rod bolts coming. Um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, just a lot of parts. Oil pan, 
a brand new oil pan because the <clears throat> I had to get a new oil pan because the oil pan that came with the engine that's in there it was dented on the bottom so when I first fired it up it was making this to do to do to do to do us because the the dent I didn't know it was dented because we just threw it in but the uh, dent was hitting one of the it was either hitting the crank or rod or something something was coming through the girdle and slapping the oil pan <clears throat> so we had to pull the motor and uh, put the oil pan from that engine put that oil pan from that engine on that engine and then <clears throat> I was just gonna bend out the dent and my brother had somebody come for scrap and the guy took the oil pan so anyway whatever they're they're not that expensive um for as big as they are and what they are they're it was only 52 bucks a dormant dormant oil pan so yeah um anyway so yeah i'm just gonna clean up uh that grill get all the paint off it do that and then uh i don't know if i'm gonna do the tranny cooler because i i need to get tranny fluid i don't have any extra tranny fluid or you know what i might i think i do have tranny fluid but anyway um yeah and then i'll probably wheel that engine out clean it all up and uh start doing a series a video series on it so um, anyway all right, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like below, comment below, subscribe over here, check out my boy over here, watch my previous video over there for my little rant. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Later.